Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This will be a double review because uh, both men and women played today. In fact, there's a bit of an overlap because the women kicked off at 3 o'clock and the men kicked off at 4.30. I will start with the better result of the day, which was the women winning 2-1 away at Bristol. A um, couple changes to the lineup meant that Ash was on the bench, as was Megan Wynn. But other than that, it still looked a pretty strong team. And we played really well. Uh, in the first half, we created a couple chances. We started really sharp, but we just weren't clinical enough and we never found the back of the net. And unfortunately, I was Diwali, so they're using... Oh, fireworks. Oh, my goodness. I didn't understand what the, how that cracking noise was. Excuse me. Anyway, um, happy Diwali to anyone who's celebrating. But, uh, yeah, back to the women. Unfortunately, we conceded a goal in the first half and uh, meant we went into half time uh, behind, which wasn't ideal, but um, we didn't need any changes at half time. I thought we had enough people, we had the right people on the pitch to make a difference. We just had to be a lot more clinical, which, it, which is what we were. Um, we looked really sharp and we played some lovely football throughout the whole game and especially in the second half as well. And Kit Graham scored two fantastic goals. Um, the equaliser being an absolute rocket and then the second goal being another little curling ball, both outside the box. Uh, two lovely efforts, very close to each other, So, um, as in time-wise. So uh, it meant that we turned around the fact that we were losing or uh, training behind 1-0 to then leading 2-1. And uh, we had a chance to go 3-1 up as well. We had a penalty, unfortunately it was saved. They also tried to get an equaliser, but thankfully nothing came of that. And we ended 2-1, which was brilliant. It meant that we have third win in five games in the FAWSL, which is brilliant. We're doing really, really well. Um, and actually, it was a fun fact because, um, as I said, the games were overlapping. So after Kit's two goals... It was within a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds, actually. Um, Harry Kane also scored. So it was very, very exciting time because from seeing the lineup for the men, which I was not happy with, I don't know why Ndombele didn't start. Obviously, Lamella's injured, apparently. Um, I don't know what Lucas has to do to get a game. It was a very weird lineup. Um, was not happy with that. And then obviously the women were losing as well to then scoring three goals. And I was just like, whoa, this is going a lot better than I expected. So that was really exciting. And actually the first half for the men was really positive. Obviously we scored very quickly and we defended a lot, but we showed so much passion and and um, desire to defend and to play for each other. And I thought we did very well in that first half to to weather the storm of Liverpool, because obviously they were always going to attack. They're Liverpool. They've got some incredible power players. And um, they were always, you know, especially as a home side as well, they were always going to attack. And I was very proud of us to be able to go into the break with only with the one goal lead. Um, I just thought that we could have made some changes at half time. I thought that Ericsson was a bit quiet. Delhi was nowhere to be seen. So I thought that maybe, well, the Ndobele should have come on for sure, in my opinion, maybe even Lo Celso earlier and Lucas as well, and just to to hit them on the counter-attack because obviously that was going to be our game plan after an early goal is to sit back and then hit them on the counter, much like usually teams do against us. So that would have been my thing, but then we didn't really do that. I don't understand sometimes why Posh doesn't make subs quicker, but anyway, um, and then they... Rose error meant led to an equaliser from them and then an Orion mistake led to a pen which they scored from so both of the goals both of their goals came from fullback mistakes and I said this earlier I said it after Watford as well I don't understand why these players are still playing for my club um I really don't know or it looked okay I guess against Red Star but then again you know it is Red Star everyone keeps saying that it's just Red Star what I did like today though is we looked a lot more sharper but unfortunately it just all faded and it didn't help that we didn't bring on Ndombele who's one of our best players right now in this whole season um didn't help that we didn't bring on La Celso in time and Lucas we all we gave those two the last two La Celso and Lucas collectively 10 minutes if that much at all and that makes no sense to try and bring on when you're 2-1 down and you, you don't bring one of your fastest um and one of your goal threats on for what seven minutes six minutes it's just not fair really it's just not fair to Lucas I don't know what he has to do to start or just to come on at least at half time or something I don't know it's very weird um but that's that we go back to Liverpool next week to play against Everton this time so 
back to back Merseyside games, both away as well. Um, hopefully that go a bit better. But now, I believe we're in eleventh, so it's just, oh, it's just a bit confusing right now for the men's. I don't really know. Like, it's obviously a team thing. Oh God, these. I keep thinking something's breaking, but it's just fireworks. Oh, I've become so skittish being around animals. Anyway, um, yeah, back to the men. I don't know. It's it's about team. It's about the players we play and, and the positions we play them in and who to bring on and when to bring on. And it just... Oh, I just I think it seems obvious that you have to play the ones who want to play for the badge. But maybe it's not that obvious. I don't know. I'm not a head coach. I don't know. I'm not a manager. What do I know? Anyway, uh, as I said, I'm not that unhappy because the women won. And to be honest, if I would have went into the two games today, I would have expected the women to win against Bristol. And I didn't... Ex if I'm being honest, it depended on the lineup. Once I saw the lineup for the men, I didn't expect us to win. So when we took the lead, I was ecstatic. Um, and keeping it and even thought maybe we could get to 1-1. One, one. But in the end, sadly, I'm not surprised that it went to 2-1. But that's football for you. Um, we just have to bounce back. But it's not looking that bad. At least we didn't shy away from the perform like from a game and we didn't look lackluster, which we did against um Watford. So at least we showed some passion and, and some fight, which is more than I could have seen previously. So there's something there. Anyway, I'm blabbing on enough for like six and a half minutes. So um I'm just gonna end it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know your thoughts. Oh, obviously my man the match for, or the player of the match for the women's was Kit because she was outstanding. Those two goals really changed the whole game. Man of the match for the men's Gaza. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, sorry. He he deserves a special mention. He was outstanding in the first half. He made some ex excellent saves. So yeah, Gaza definitely uh, man of the match. Um he made some more saves in the second half as well, obviously. Pens pens a pen and then the other one was a defensive mistake from Rose. So, you know, I think Gaza deserves a, a shout. He was very, very good today. So we're very lucky that he stepped up to the plate as well. But yeah, that was it from me. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave it a thumbs up, share it, like it, you know the rest, and come on, you Spurs. <laughs>